हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अ ब्रेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ट्रेन ट्यूटर सो इन टुडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज ऑन इंटीग्रल्स द बेसिक फॉर्मूले एज वेल एज द एलिमेंट्री रूल्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन माय प्रीवियस क्लास दैट इज द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी पब्लिश एंड हियर इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द इंटीग्रेशन बाय द मेथड ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूशन so see here uh, in the previous class also i had mentioned the total marks from this chapter so totally there will be 20 marks from this chapter that is on integrals so la uh, till last year it was uh, 22 marks total marks was 22 from this chapter but uh, this year the syllabus has been revised and uh, revised syllabus uh, states that uh, it will be 20 marks from this chapter all right so here one mark questions that is from part a there will be two questions from part a and two questions from part b one question that is for three marks from part c one question from part d that is for five marks and one more question from part e so in part e there will be two questions for 10 marks so for uh, six marks there will be one question from this chapter that is on integrals so we'll see what is meant by this integration by the method of substitution this is very simple topic okay from this integration chapter so here in this method it is applicable when the given integral contains both substitute and its derivative okay for example uh, if it is the integration of 2x dx and 1 plus x square is given see here uh, see what is the differentiation of x square 1 plus x square the differentiation of this constant is obviously zero right and the differentiation of this x square is 2x which is present here that is what it states so in this method this is applicable when the given integral contains both substitute if i substitute this equal to t or some variable okay if it contains both substitute and its derivative derivative is present here in the numerator so the differentiation of this x square is 2x so is it clear so here this method is applicable so when the integral contains both substitute and its derivative i hope you got this problem okay you have got this method by the uh, how to integrate by the substitution here so we'll see the method here the first point okay so what we have to do is we'll have to make the proper substitution here okay we'll have to make the proper substitution see uh, if you substitute you'll get the derivative of it or not so we'll have to make the proper substitution that is the first point and the second point here is given integral it reduces to the fundamental integrals and the third point is to integrate after reducing it to, to the fundamental integrals then we can integrate the given problem i hope you got this so why i'm explaining this is uh, because see if you try to solve the problems from the question paper directly without understanding the concept so it is of no use so i want you all to understand the concept and based on the concept we'll try to solve the problems okay we'll uh, get an idea like how to solve the problem just solving the problems from the from the question paper uh, it is like uh, it is completely waste because we'll forget everything so just understand the concept and for how many marks like from which concept you will be getting so try to know that first and then you go for the question paper so that is what i want you all to go for okay so we'll take this first example okay the question here is evaluate integrate 2x dx by 1 plus x square so this problem has come from the topic method of substitution and we have seen the method of substitution like how to integrate with this method so firstly we'll take this as let i equals the same thing here we'll write down 2x dx by 1 plus x square okay 1 plus x square now what is the pro method of substitution states first point we'll have to make the proper substitution if i take see here okay put t is equal to 1 plus x square put t equals 1 plus x square i have substituted this 1 plus x square is equal to t here why because when i differentiate this i'll get this 2x and if i take put t is equal to 2x what will i get then different after differentiation will i'll get only 
uh, yeah dt by dx will be equal to 2 okay we will get see here if I take t is equal to 2x then dt by dx will be equal to 2 uh, is 2 present here no 2 is not present if I substitute this value here equal to t will I get 2 anywhere here there is no 2 so it's of no use so we'll have to make the proper substitution okay we'll have to make the proper substitution so don't go for the substitution so we'll take put t is equal to 1 plus x square then which implies okay we'll have to integrate this t with respect to x that is dt by dx is equal to 0 plus 2x or or it is dt is equal to 2x into dx. See here, this is nothing but the numerator. We got the numerator here. The same thing here, right? So therefore now i changes to, therefore i changes to now integration of, so what is 2x dx here? It is equal to dt now. So, I will write dt, okay. dt by, what is this? 1 plus x square, 1 plus x square is nothing but t. So, I am differentiating with respect to t now. dt by t. So, we know the for uh, integration formula for dx by x, 1 by x of dx, right? We know the integration formula for integration of 1 by x dx, that is log of x. So here in terms of t it will be equal to now log of t plus c okay. Now I am going to write the same thing in terms of x which is equal to log of what is t? t is nothing but 1 plus x square okay 1 plus x square plus c. So, this completes the solution. I hope you got this problem, okay, by the method of substitution. We will take the second example, integration of sin of x, sin x into sin of cos x dx, okay. So, here see, uh, there is, if I substitute uh, t is equal to cos x, then I will get sin x, right. So, you can do a proper substitution here. So, first before that we will take let i equals, we will take down the same question here, always make a habit of writing this, sin x, sin of cos x dx, okay. Then we will put, put t equals, if I take t equals cos x, then I will get minus sin x. So, I will take put t equals cos x, which implies, so if I need to differentiate this t with respect to x, that is dt by dx, okay. So, differentiating this t with respect to x, dt by dx is equal to now minus sin x. So, therefore, dt is equal to now minus sin x dx. Minus sin x dx. But there is no minus sign here. So, what will I have to, what will I do now? The next step is to shift this minus sign here. Okay, I will write minus dt is equal to sin x dx. Okay, then, therefore, now I changes to, so what is sin x dx, sin x dx is there here, okay. So, what will I write now? Yes, sin of cos x. What is cos x here? I have taken it is equal to t, okay. Sin t. And what is this sin x into dx? Nothing but minus 
dt okay minus i have already taken here so minus dt now the integration of sin t is minus cos t okay minus cos t plus c or so it is minus of minus plus cos t integration of sin t is minus cos t here cos t plus c or writing this in terms of x it will be cos of what is t here it is nothing but cos x okay plus c this is the solution so i hope you have understood this clearly so we will evaluate the third problem here evaluate integration of cortex log of sin x dx and this question has appeared for two marks in the year Ma 2020 march okay so we'll do this problem let i equals the same thing cortex log of sin x dx okay now i need to go for the method of substitution just direct taking the basic formula i think it will not work out here any other method no there is no such method so i'll have to go for the method of substitution see you have to do you have to make a proper substitution now put t is equal to now if i take put t is equal to cot x okay uh, after differentiating i will not get this sin x term right so i will have to make this as a substitution here put t is equal to log of sin x now differentiate this t with respect to x dt by dx is now equal to 1 by what is log of x it is 1 by x so log of sin x is 1 by sin x and again the differentiation of this sin x is cos x is that clear okay so dt by dx is equal to now log of sin x is 1 by sin x and again differentiating this sin x it will be equal to cos x see log of x is 1 by x and again differentiation of x is equal to 1 so we were getting only 1 by x but now here it is sin x so it will be 1 by x and again the differentiation of sin x will be equal to cos x so which is now equal to cos x by sin x okay which is equal to cot x okay we got it is equal to cot x therefore so see cot x is present here in the question so we got after the substitution of this log of sin x and after the differentiation we are getting this cot x that means our substitution is perfect so then now i is now equal to i is equal to now t into dt okay which is equal to what is the power here 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 t square by 1 plus 1 again it is 2 plus c now writing in terms of x will be equal to is equal to log of what was t equal to log of sin x sin x whole square by 2 plus c so this is a solution so hope you got this so evaluate integration of tan to the power of 4 root x secant square root x by root x into dx okay and this question has appeared in the year 2017 for 3 marks for 3 marks okay from the same topic that is method of substitution see here 
is there any other method you can go for no you have to go for the substitution see by seeing this question only will understand so if i differentiate or uh, tan i will be getting secant square x so with the help of that you i think you can guess let i equals tan to the power of root x so if i take t equals secant square root x after differentiating i will not get this tan root x right so if i take tan i will get the differentiation of this equal to secant square x which is present in the question itself so i have to go for put t equals tan root x tan of root x therefore differentiating this t with respect to x dt by dx is equal to now secant square root x and again the differentiation of this root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x okay so 1 by 2 root x or i can write 2 into dt 2 into dt is equal to secant square root x into this dx will go here by root x okay see here which is already present in the question we got the same thing secant square root x by root x here okay therefore now this i will be equal to i will be equal to now what is secant square root x by root x dx it is equal to 2 dt so 2 is a constant so i have taken it out and here i can take the substitution that was taken here equal to t right t to the power 4 we had taken t equals tan root of x and here there is a power of 4 so i need to take the same thing here t to the power of 4 and dt here okay secant square x dx by root x which is equal to 2 dt so 2 is taken here and here it will be dt so now integrating this i will get what is the power here making use of the power rule that is 4 plus 1 equals 5 and again divide by 4 plus 1 equals 5 plus c or i can write it as 2 into what is t tan root of x okay it is power of 5 so here by 5 plus c so 2 tan to the power of 5 root x by 5 plus c i hope you got this problem and also you have understood have to substitute and what are the different methods of substitution uh um, if you have liked my video so you can please uh, subscribe and also don't forget okay to like also thank you thanks for watching.